Today I am going to be tackling a really fun Ikea hack. This is what the cabinet looks like here. Nothing wrong with it, but definitely room for some personality. Happy Monday, welcome back to another vlog. Well, it's Monday for me, it's Wednesday or Thursday for you guys. A lot of you guys have asked me for solutions for small entryways and whenever I get this question, I always um, recommend using this product. Um, this is the Ikea, I think it's Hemnes shoe cabinet. It has such a slim profile, but it holds so many pairs of shoes which is awesome so i keep mine out in my hallway I, I live on the top floor so there's a little landing i keep it there um but i'm thinking about bringing it into my apartment because the landing is very small so just to like you know give a bit of room out there and i'm gonna give it a complete makeover today before we get into the makeover, guys, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I saw a stat the other day that 60% of people who come back to my channel to watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is crazy. Only 30% of people who watch my videos are subscribed, which is insane. Um, so please make sure you're subscribed. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. I, um, I hope you'll stay a while and watch all my videos and subscribe so you never miss a new episode. Okay, let's go. So the first step is finding um, some wood for the top of it. I've got my mask and yeah, let's head out to get some wood and then we'll start this DIY. You guys, it's crazy that like, this is the new normal. Like wearing masks, just FYI. So. I am being responsible, I'm staying, I'm doing curbside pickup, I'm wearing my mask, I'm staying away from people. So yeah, please everyone, stay safe. <laughs> so guys this is what the cabinet looks like here i actually really like it i think it works and it gives me so much more space on the landing outside i don't know i'm gonna diy it in here so i can see the final product but yeah i really like it um i'm thinking that even if i don't keep the unit here the kind of glow up i give it will still look really great out there so the first thing i'm going to do is take out all the shoes um lay all of the pieces on the ground because i'm going to paint this um, and i'm also going to take the top off because the top is going to be um a custom piece of wood the wood that i just picked up from isaac is going to go on top of here which is really exciting i have so many shoes so this is a good excuse to clear some shoes out So whenever you're painting Ikea furniture, you always want to use um, a pretty heavy duty uh, primer because it has that shiny finish. So I'm using um, the Styx interior slash exterior primer, um, just in white. And then I'm gonna pick a color to paint this. I'm actually thinking the same green that I used in Teresa's bathroom makeover. Um, I think I have some of that left and I think 
green will look really nice with the wood. So yeah, I mean, it gives us a prime. We'll give all the fronts a prime and then I'm gonna start on the actual cabinet itself. <laughs> Okay guys, so these are dry. It's really hard to see on camera, but it coats it with like a very matte finish, um, which is obviously what we want in order to paint them. So this is the green, which I love so much. So I'm thinking of doing that because the wood, I'm staining that piece of wood, but I think the wood and the green will look will look really nice. So before I start painting the cabinet green, I think I'm going to sand and stain that piece of wood that I picked up this morning. I'm gonna do it outside. It's gonna need some time to dry, so let's go do that. Hey guys, so the wood shelf is stained. Didn't take any time at all. These are dry. Um, so I'm gonna start painting them green. Okay guys, so everything's painted. I love this color so, so much. Um, I will link everything I've used down below, by the way, so color names, product names, all of that. But I wanted to show you guys, so if you don't use a primer and you try to paint Ikea furniture, this is what happens. So it gets like really streaky and it doesn't take well to the furniture. Whereas I used a primer here on the front, so it's like you can see it's really matte and looks like brand new. I'm gonna let all of these pieces dry. They definitely need another coat. I'll see you guys when everything's finished and dry and I'm putting the piece back together. Okay guys, so everything is just about dry, which is very exciting. Um, and I went up into my prop loft and found these matte black knobs that I'm going to put on the front of the cabinets. Ideally, I think like leather knobs would have looked really good, but we're working with what we've got. So good. Oh, 
Oh yeah. That looks so, so good. So guys, to screw that on, I just used the screws um, and the hole that the original top was screwed on with. So pretty simple. Um, I know some people use L brackets as well to reinforce it, um, but yeah, it's on there. That looks so good. Okay guys, so it's the next day. The cabinet is dry. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm just adding some finishing touches to it and getting this piece styled. So let's take a look at what this cabinet looked like before. Nothing wrong with it, but definitely room for some personality. And this is what it looks like now. I am so happy with how this piece turned out. It took me maybe like three to four hours. It was such a fun project to take on while I was cooped up inside. And I really hope this video inspires you to tackle an Ikea piece of your own. And there you guys have it, a completely revamped piece of Ikea furniture. It was a great project to do while self-isolating. I would love to know what you guys think about the positioning of it here. I like that it's like a little entryway off the door um, and it gives me more room outside my door. Um, but I don't know, the green to me makes more sense outside of my apartment. This apartment is obviously very like bright and pink and white. I want to know in the comments down below, should I leave it here? Should I move it out into my little landing? I'd love to know. And I hope that this video inspired you guys to get up, tackle a fun creative project and turn something you already have into something even more beautiful. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not pushed that subscribe button already. And I will see you on Saturday. Bye.